Hi everyone, this is Kamal Fakhreddin, Global Solutions Specialist with Houthi Mifflin Harcourt. Today in this short video, we're going to speak about the assessment report, specifically about the assessment proficiency or the donut that you can see in front of you on the page in here. Please note that the assessment proficiency donut will sort all of your students into three different tiers. And these are according to the results, according to their answers in the online assessment that they've created. So the system will recognize the scores and will recognize the levels of these students. Please keep in mind that it is also color coded. You will notice for those that are highlighted in red, they are, they are those students that scored between zero and 64%. The students that are highlighted in yellow are those that have scored between 65 and 79%. And those that are high achievers, they are the Though those that are highlighted in green and they scored between 80 and 100 percent. Please remember that these are not the default ranges. You can change these ranges according to your local standards from the settings on GLP. So the assessment proficiency, yes, will group your students. And if I need to know more about each of the groups, I can simply navigate or move my mouse to that specific color. So you will notice that I have 30 students inside this class. If I move my mouse to the red portion, those are the low achievers. For the low achievers, I have six students that are considered low achievers according again to their assessments and to their scores. So if I'm looking at those students or I need to know more details about these six students, all what you need to do is to click on this red portion of the donut. It will provide you with the full details around the names of those students that have scored below the level throughout all of the assessments. If I need to generate specific reports for a specific assessment, let's say I'm looking at uh, the low achievers or those that did not really score high in a specific assessment, I can do the same thing. If you remember in the previous video, we spoke about filtering. How can you filter according to the assessment that you need the results for? So I'm, I need to filter according to my unit test too, and I need to know which of these students have scored really between, between the zero and 64. I can do the same process, but instead of just selecting all types of assessment or all assessments, I'm generating a report specifically and uniquely for the unit test too. And right now, if I navigate my mouse to the red portion, it's again six students, I can access these students as well. In order to show, um, or in order to look at the report for a specific group, you can also do that by simply going for the red portion and then, of course, clicking on show report for that group. Now we're generating or the system will generate this report for this specific group on a specific assessment, as you can notice. You, there is another way in which you can access these reports, and it is, of course, by selecting the group from the drop-down menu for reports. So if I select that drop-down menu, I can scroll to my group that I need. Like in my case, I'm going to now look at the group of the high achievers, which, which are the achievers or the students that actually scored between 80 and 100. So I can select that. And of course, I can even filter further by selecting a specific quiz or a test. So yes, this would allow you to understand those low achievers, to understand what exactly is the progress of those low achievers. And um, it will allow you also to know more about uh, their mistakes, what they did they do as mistakes in their assessments, because simply once you choose those students, you have full information about those students on the right side and in the box in here. And as you can see, if I scroll down, I have the full details around this specific assessment that I've selected, which is lesson quiz three, and I have the score of all of my students in the assessment itself. For more information, of course, we're gonna focus and speak more about uh, the reports in the coming uh, video. So please make sure that you also watch the assessment proficiency for individual students in the coming video. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.